Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotion for you. Just a couple more days until Christmas. How exciting is that? Today we're going to be looking at a devotion titled A Promise of Pain. And I know you're probably saying, wow, that's crazy. Going into the Christmas time, we're going to be talking about pain, but we will see the uh, the message here that goes along with it. If you have your Bibles, turn to Luke chapter 2. We're going to be looking at verses 33 and 35. That's Luke chapter 2, verses 33 through 35. And the Bible says this, it says, And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. <clears throat> and for a sign which shall be spoken against, yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. We tend to think of Christmas in terms of joy, and it truly is a joyful occasion, but it was not easy or simple. Mary went through the same physical pain in childbirth that our mothers have experienced through the years. She was not miraculously shielded from the suffering just because the child to whom she was giving birth was the Messiah and the pain of childbirth was only the beginning. The greatest pain Mary would experience was yet to come when Jesus was crucified. The prophecy Simeon had given Mary when Jesus was a baby came true as she watched him die. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, woman, behold thy son. And that's found in John nineteen twenty six. <clears throat> Even in his final moments, Jesus made sure that Mary would be cared for after his death. He knew that her heart was broken and she would need the physical and emotional comfort John would be able to provide. There is no salvation possible apart from sacrifice. And there is no way to follow God's son without carrying our own crosses just as he did. Mary willingly accepted her part in God's plan, but it came at a very high price. There is a great joy and glory and reward in faithfully obeying and serving God, but it's not an easy road we have been called to walk. With today's growth principle, it's this. It's the seriousness of sin is measured by the amount of pain the solution for it brought both to the Lord and those who loved him. While we think of Christmas time as, yes, the coming of Christ, it was that Christ was born and how great that is, but it also meant that one day Jesus would have to die. The greatest gift you could ever get isn't found under a Christmas tree. It isn't given by somebody that you know, but it was given by Jesus when he died on the cross. And so this promise of pain that came with Jesus' birth, Simeon knew that one day Jesus was going to give the ultimate sacrifice so that you and I could follow him. And so I would just encourage you guys with this Christmas season, yes, it's great. It's about Jesus' birth, but also with that birth eventually came a sacrifice that Jesus was willing to make. I hope you guys have a great day. Let's pray. And uh, dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your mercy, God. I'm thankful that you sent your son to die on the cross for us, Lord, that, that with his birth, God, it also meant a fulfillment of your plan one day for him to die and shed his blood on the cross for the greatest gift we could ever receive and that's salvation. I pray that you would help everybody today that is hearing this. Give them a great day. Uh, in Jesus name. Amen. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas.